To kick off this hour, we are joined to, by a rise in news analyst, Dayo Shobowale and Emmanuel Afeni, to review some of the headlines from newspapers from all around the world today. Good afternoon, Mr. Emmanuel Afeni. Good afternoon, Vimbai. Good afternoon, <laughs> Cynthia. Good afternoon, Dayo. Uh, afternoon. Yes, we start with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, not, not the cherry one, obviously. Tinimbu, Akpabio, Abbas, Obi, governors, others, Mon. Herbert Wigwe, family members, Ogumba and Jo, president describes demise as overwhelming tragedy, shocking beyond comprehension. Preliminary reports reveal wintry weather conditions contributed to chopper crash. Access Holdings confirms incident, says acting GMD to be announced soon. Dio, the deaths. Over yeah. the weekend of uh, renowned banker Herbert Wigwe, entrepreneur, philanthropist. One of our best bankers. Yes. Our best and bankers. of course, most recently, educationists. Philanthropist. And, uh, it's uh, quite sad. Mm. It happened uh, in, somewhere in California. The wife and son. The wife, son. And, 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 um, and, and Abimbola uh, Ogumba Dejo. Calamity. Yes, it's a calamity, and it's no surprising that the president of the country, President Bola Metinimbu, has uh, wow. led the pain of tribute, the outpouring of tribute uh, to this consummate banker. Um, International banker. Yes, whom at, threat, at 57, you will mm -hmm. say he has done everything, but it is not how long one lived, but, but how, how well. well. How well. Uh, yeah. He yeah. lived well, touched lives, and of course... He was his, a star. He uh, was a star. Yes. It's not surprising that uh, the, uh, yes. um, the Punch newspaper reporting this story, heartbroken, Nigerians mourn Whiskey Wigwe, yes, uh, before Whiskey became somebody's musical name. The likes of Wigwe have been described as banging Whiskey, and of course, as at the time he passed away in that uh, ghastly crash, Clearly, it was the leading, one of the leading lights in the of our banking community. Yes, yes. sector and the finance world at large. His friends, colleagues, and indeed all Nigerians, whether you, you've met him or not, his ah, impact. You just must have heard of him. Yes. So oh, yeah. I want to say one or two things more. Yes. Uh, you see, um, it's a pity, really. I don't want to compare him with anybody, you know. But uh, he was a star in his own right. And he, he took access to the pinnacle of banking. Not only in Nigeria. Yes. See, I'm sure he was arranging some, con uh, uh, some connection with American banks over so there, where these things happen. He was a leading light. He was a leading light. And they, these are the people who took what we call second generation banks then against the first bank, Union Bank, and so on, second generation. <laughs> GTB, uh, Access, uh, and they grew Nigerian banks with technology and they soared above the competition yeah. and became leaders of the industry. Is and he was it? one of them. Himself, Lumelu, uh, Bola, Adeola, Jibovia, Adeola, and, and others. These are the leading yes. lights of our banking uh, community. And it's a, it's a sad way. Yes, it's a sad, sad way. Of so course. Yes, yeah, sadly, of course, yeah. to even think that his parents, uh, Pastor Shingo Uigwe, who himself was a very popular man in the broadcast industry, okay. and mother are still alive. You know, it's very painful for so them to lose calamity their, the their son uh, this way. Then the people mm. of his community, Siokbo, in River State, mm. where, he has, a shock. Yes, where he has cited the Uigwe University, mm. the world-class university, that changed the dynamics of learning at the tertiary level in this climb. Was it and philanthropic? Course, yes. Passe. And you remember yeah. that his video where he was talking to the youth in the area, speaking pidgin English to them, telling them, this is your own. You yeah. have to own it. I'm sure those youths will be inspired for life. I won't have that contact with him. And his legacies will continue to live on. I think it started with uh, GTB. Yeah, yes. He grew up, yes. started his own. It was a GTB uh, Allah, 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 as it were. 
Adele now, Nyoko. Yes. Yeah. Let's look at other stories. The Guardian yeah. newspaper exiting oil firms pollute Niger Delta with 36.1 million liters of crude oil in eight years. Of course, talking about the uh, oil companies, and the story is saying IOCs, international oil companies, independent producers concealed quantities of spilled 1,596 different times. They don't give the actual spill, actual figure of uh, quantity spilled. So Take now they are running away. Yes, they, they cannot run like away. <laughs> Stakeholders <laughs> seek environmental remediation <laughs> fund, halt on divestment. Local producers fingered in rising cases. 247,527 barrels poured into inland waters since 2016. Rural oil well in Ondo spilling crude since 2020. So a lot of damage being done to the environment as <laughs> we still Pollution. depend on crude oil. But we must do it in a decent way, following world best practices. But Some this poor, poor monitoring of the part of our yes, authorities. If they have been able huh, to conceal this, and now you are talking about it when they have literally sold their commitments. And, and it, it's heartbreaking because it's irreparable damage. So yeah. even if there's, you, there's a cleanup, there's a mop-up, when you look at those communities and the generational damage that is done, you know, health defects, so many things happen. Um, so... It's, it's so devastating because, yeah. yes, fine, we're it's going to clean up and so forth, but the damage has been yeah. done. Yeah, like you said, the authorities, the authorities must monitor and hold this accountable. Right. Because what some of these oil companies do here, they cannot do elsewhere. They can't do it anywhere else. They can't do it they elsewhere, can't. but they do it here and get away with blue water. And now they're no longer making the shocking profits they were making before from their onshore operations. They're leaving and leaving us with this mess. Well, yeah, I hope yeah, so. yeah. we'll hold them yeah. accountable. I hope so. Yes. Hopefully, if we so. act fast enough, we yeah. can still mop up some things. Well, the Daily yeah. Trust newspaper, federal government workers in 90 ministries, departments, and agencies yet to get January salaries. That's well, a disaster. It is, because even the salaries is not enough to cope with the inflationary trend. And now when the salaries don't come, you imagine what will happen. I well, can imagine. Yes, I know. Yeah, I'm imagining. Now, of course, the photograph on front, <laughs> on front page of, uh, the, of Daily Trust newspaper. Cote d'Ivoire overpower Nigeria to leave Afghan 2020. Well, the, the better team well, won yesterday. I love that you're wearing your green tie, yeah, Mr. Fenny. I love we it. Still, we still have to solidarize with the boys. They did us proud. Getting to the finals is no mean feat, but would have rather they come home with a trophy. Yeah, well, it has not happened yeah, this don't time. don't win all the time. Yes, I know. They give their best. Yes. I'm very proud of them. Yes. But you know the irony of it? Around my club at Tony Kong, you know? Which club? Are, which club is that? I don't, I don't need to say that. Tony Kong. Sure. <laughs> okay, you're about to this club. Hey, say it. Around my club. So I don't think it's one kind of club you are going to. At my level. You, and that's why they mentioned me. You don't know Lagos. <laughs> you, know, you are still selling. You know, uh, this... Uh, what do you call it now? This when you do Christmas. Yes, banga. Banga. Ah, <laughs> they were still celebrating because they were, they are prepared them for victory. You get me? Yes. Yeah. So, so celebrations well, couldn't go to waste. Yeah, well, I well, felt sad. But uh, yes, that's day, why I still said I must still wear my green yes. tie today. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yes, but not crestfallen. No. Yeah, you are yes. the one reminding you. I'm sure you didn't do it because of that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> any, sure any, anyway, yesterday <laughs> was. Good and bad day for me. As an hour one to publish oh, six <laughs> Yes. And I commiserate with the goals, but I celebrate with Asana. Yes, well, you, you <laughs> long suffering as an <laughs> fan. No, you are back. You are back. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay, the Vanguard newspaper. Higher prices loom as businesses rely more on loans to survive. Borrowing from banks raises 52%, 1.83 trillion. Interest payment rises 332.3% to 589.62 billion. Of course, businesses borrowing to survive, yeah. but the interest rate also very high. So they will pass the cost to the consumers. So but more high cost uh, thing now. It, 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 it could be news before, it's no longer news mm -hmm. because it's the all pervading thing. 
And you see, if one is to measure one's health by the way the prices are rising and all that, one will just drop dead like uh, <laughs> those who drop dead walking, <laughs> watching the eagles. No. No, no they are alarming. It they is. Alarm it me. is. But it is disturbing. I find them disturbing. Yes. And Absolutely. Well, yes. we, hope the, we hope the measures government has been well, putting in place. Well, we will um, we'll ameliorate the situation yeah. one way or the other. Ah. Well, was, all we the, the tons of grains, I hope they are, living, they are, they are already living wherever they are. They, they are we have them to the various states, but we need to monitor that mm -hmm. so that it doesn't become just talk and they have to walk the talk. We need to see the grains getting to the people one yeah. way or the other. Right? Okay, if we look at the foreign newspapers quickly, the Financial Times, Financial Times, Trump opens 11-point poll lead over Biden on stewardship of U.S. economy. Yes, growth fails to impress voters. Uh, this uh, survey carried out by Financial Times in conjunction with the Michigan State University mm -hmm. uh, shows that uh, Trump uh, is 41% accepted as somebody who can manage the economy better by the voters compared to uh, the president. The president. Well, but well, you should respect that because there was a report about the president uh, on uh, how he has kept classified information. Yeah. We said they should not prosecute him. Yeah. But you know why? Because he's an old man. And he couldn't remember so many things. Mm -hmm. so they it's, it's turning into an African But then, the same thing when it applied to Trump, <laughs> yes. he's facing as many charges of course, as you can that, count. Of course, that story on the assault. front page of the Washington Post. Washington Post, if you put up the, mm -hmm. the Biden closer to a breach. <laughs> uh -huh. Frustrations with, uh, of course, the, the numbers. But the, the, a, process, the man who did the investigation must be a very sarcastic person. Do you get me? <laughs> <laughs> he said he should not... Irony. No, charge him for it because yeah. he's too old. But he said, he said because he can't remember many things. He can't remember when he was vice president. <laughs> he couldn't remember when his son died. And he wrote it in a report, government report. Is that not damn him? Well, I, I don't see how the Democrats can handle that. They may have to change the man. Well, is for now is the presumptive. Uh and but that's their problem. Yes. The device. They, are but, they don't trust the device. No, but Kamala Harris. No, but of course, mm -hmm. it, don't what you are saying, they will still have to face the American people. Yeah. They no, have to debate. They will do their, their own. Uh, yes, the party. Uh, Congress, you know. Or what no, but all the point is that Trump, uh, so Biden will run against Biden. Trump. Yeah. And not after this report. Okay. 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 And now so there's controversy about that. his age as well. Uh, that's that's they don't know yeah. how they, they've re <laughs> brought it back to the, to the fore. Been calling but not with the kind of statements Trump making about NATO, encouraging Russia to attack. NATO countries have failed but, to pay their dues. Uh, but that's Trump's that. brand. That I think it's not alarming anymore. No, he said it recently. No, that was in the past. Thank have you, you gentlemen. It's, it's, it's always okay, lovely sorry. having you. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've run out of time. But thank you so much for your wonderful review. As always, Mr. Emmanuel Ifeni, Mr. Daesh Bali, thank you. Mm -hmm.